To set up a Rec. 709 grading environment on an M1 or newer MacBook Pro, the first step is to go to your toolbar in the upper right-hand corner. Click on Control Center, then click on Display, and then the arrow in the right-hand corner. This will bring up the Reference Mode menu. For our purposes, we will select HDTV Video, aka Rec. 709. Your screen will go black for a second, as your monitor changes to Rec. 709 reference. You will now notice if you try to change the brightness of your display, there will be a lock symbol, because you are locked at 100 nits, which is Rec. 709 spec. Next, we will open up DaVinci Resolve. Before loading our project, we will go to the upper left-hand corner in the toolbar and click on DaVinci Resolve. From here, we will click on Preferences. In the top center, we want to make sure we have System selected, and from the left-hand side column, we want to select General. From here, we want to make sure we have Use 10-bit precision in Viewers, if available selected. We want to also select Use Mac Display Color Profiles for Viewer. And finally, we want to select Automatically Tag Rec. 709 Clips as Rec. 709A. Click Save in the bottom right-hand corner. We will be prompted with a notification that changes will take effect next time Resolve is started. Click OK and Reboot Resolve. When Resolve reboots, open your project. From here, go to your project settings located in the bottom right-hand corner. In the left-hand column, we will click on Color Management. In the first section, Color Space and Transforms. Under Color Science, select DaVinci, YRGB Color Managed. Unselect Automatic Color Management. Under Color Processing Mode, select HDR DaVinci, Wide Gamut, Intermediate and for output color space, select Rec. 709A. Click Save in the bottom right-hand corner, and you are now in a proper Rec. 709 color-managed grading environment with a M1 or newer MacBook Pro.